In this video you will see 1. How to install the charge controller 2. How to install Bluetooth 3. How to set up the parameters 4. How to activate Dusk to Dawn Street Light features In this setup you need solar panel Extension PV cable one solar X charge controller a wire and a battery there are four types of batteries you can use lithium ion liquid gel and AGM type in this setup we use a lithium ion battery type Now let us proceed and connect the PV extension cable to the solar panel. Then connect the wire to the charge controller according to polarity. Connect a wire between charge controller to battery, according to polarity. Now let us install the Bluetooth, syncing the phone and the charge controller. Open the Google Play Store app. Type and search Solar Life. Click OK to install. After installation open the app. Make sure the Bluetooth is open on the Android phone. Click search Bluetooth devices. Search and click Solar Life device to connect. Now we're in, and we can now adjust the charge controller parameters. This is the dashboard of the application. The two tabs are the monitoring and parameter settings. On the monitor tab, you can check the PV status, the battery status, and the load status. Let us see on the PV status. In this page you will see the detail of the solar panel, and the generated graphs of 60 days. Same also on the battery page. Now let us see the battery parameters tab. In the parameters setting, you will see the three tabs, device parameters, battery parameters and the load parameters. Let's see on the device parameters tab. In here, you will see default device settings. The time is directly sync on your phone time. Then click send to accept time synchronization. This time, let's us click battery parameters. This is very important. On the first setup of the device the default battery type is gel. So, change it according to what type of battery you use. Click on battery type. There are four type of battery is supported in this device, lithium, liquid, gel and AGM. On our setup we use lithium, so we select lithium type. In here we see list of abbreviation. LVD means, low voltage disconnect. For example, if the battery drops to 10.6V the load is automatically disconnected, to protect the battery. When LVD is active, you will also see warning on the charge controller display. LVR LVR is low voltage reconnect. This is applied when the LVD is active. If the battery is charged enough according to the user settings which is 12 volts, the load is reconnect and can now be used. CVT 
CVT is charge voltage target. The charge controller continue to fill up the battery until CVT is reached. In this setup, CVT is 14.4 volts, then the controller stop charging when CVT is reached. CVR CVR stand for Charge Voltage Recovery CVR is activated when battery voltage is dropping, equivalent or below the CVR setting. In this setup CVR is 14 volts. When CVR is active, charge controller is charging the battery again, and stop charging on CVT setup. 0 degree Celsius charging. Leave it yes as default setting. If you leave in a cold countries, see the manual for more information. After you make any changes on the battery parameters, do not forget to click send to save any changes. Now, let's proceed on load parameter settings. Before we continue, let us install a 12 volts LED light to test the load of the charge controller device. Install the wire of the light bulb to the load of charge controller, according to the polarity. Now back to load parameter settings. You can select work mode on this four choices. If you select manual mode, you will see two buttons, just tick on this two button to activate. Click send to save. If you select manual mode, load will only activate by pressing menu button on the charge controller device. By selecting 24 hours, load is activated 24 hours a day. In here is our fourth tutorial. D2D or Dusk to Dawn, Street Light Features. By selecting D2D or Dusk to Dawn Features, you will see two setting. The meaning here is, day and night threshold. The controller recognized day and night base on solar array open circuit voltage. Leave it 8 volts as default settings. The meaning here is, day and night delay. You can select time by minutes to make the load turn on a little bit later. Click send to save. Observe this two video. How will disk to dawn, work mode apply. During this time the sun lights still up, so we have to cover the solar panel to trick the system. As you can see after 5 seconds of no sunlight detected on the solar panel, the load is activated. When the sunlight is detected, the load is deactivated. This technology is commonly used on pig farms and chicken farms. By selecting fixed lighting hours, you can select how many hours load will activate during no sunlight. This also apply on day and night threshold and day and night delay. Click send to save. That's all for this video, for more information and tutorials visit our website at www.1solarx.com. You can also visit us in our store in Lazada, and you can ask questions, we would like to help you. 1SolarX, Build Your Solar Energy